Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can push uh, the IP address as a user ID uh, within Matomo. So the typical use case is the following one, is that you wish to install, uh, to set the user ID on your website. So user ID allows you to, um, to know the number of individuals which are connecting to your uh, to your website. But the thing is that for some reasons you cannot implement the user ID, like it's far too technical for you. Um, the, let's say the identifier, which could be closer to this one, could be then in this case the IP address. The IP address, however, um, has some, uh, let's say, drawbacks, means that it's provided by your uh, internet service access provider, it can change from time to time, it represents more a household, and in some cases, uh, within the same company, everyone has the same IP address. But we're going to say it's better than, than nothing. Uh, another case it's with the IP address is that, of course, it's uh, personal information. So you need to get the agreement of the people in order to measure that out. Um, but we don't care about this part here. I'm just explaining how to do it. So as you can see, uh, out of this visit and this visit, I get on the left the IP address, which is pushed just above the direct entry. Um, I voluntarily here anonymize the two last bytes, but it's not the case in my script. Um, so in order to get, uh, let's say, all the script that you need, uh, you just need to go on a famous search engine and find out the get visitor IP address with Google Tag Manager. Then once you do so, you will get uh, information about what you, can, uh, what you can implement. In my case, this script wasn't working. Uh, but this one was working, okay? And I think that this one is probably better because it's not using a third party uh, app, it's just using, in fact, uh, the server, your server, in order to release uh, the IP address. So, what I did is I just copy and paste the script. You can, of course, adapt it for Matomo specifically by just changing the window.data layer, uh, push, and uh, remove the event part over here if you, if you don't want. Because the big thing here is that what we want to get is just this part dealing with the IP address, okay? Um, so once you do so, uh, then you access to your uh, to your Matomo over here within the, the temp part, and you just copy and paste. You see those uh, line of code. We, you can remove this event uh, thing over here, but you really need to keep this uh, those line. But this one you can you can get rid of it. No, it's no big deal. But this one is important because this one's going to give the IP address. Once you get uh, the IP address, the most important part here is really to define a data layer variable named IP address, which is going to grab, in fact, the IP address. Then uh, next uh, thing that you want to do is that you want to go over here, configure Matomo, and then to set as the user ID the IP address in order to go and fetch it. And as a result, once uh, you are done, well, you will get uh, the user ID over here. Uh, for each of your uh, of your visitors, so they will be now identified as individuals based on their IP address and can be useful in order to determine, let's say, how many individuals are getting on your website without spending much time on development. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.